Right, thank you for taking time to come and check out my next video blog. In this one, I'm going to speak about um, haters. Okay, now, in the job that I'm doing now and the culture that I'm trying to create is I'm trying on every level of media, I'm trying to get my ideas um, and my thoughts onto or exposed to as wide an audience as I can. All right, now, this is inevitably going to open me up for haters or criticism. And I must, I mustn't get that much. I, I, I might only get like one Facebook message every other week or a quick email saying like, hey, you haven't got a clue what you're doing, who do you think you are, etc, etc. And this is fantastic. I need more of this stuff because I've learnt in the time that I've been doing this and I've learnt in my character and the way that I react to these kind of situations is that if I am making someone, something, some group or some whatever take time out of their day to contact me with their feelings and again take time out of their life to get in touch with me then I know that I'm, that I'm having some kind of impact. For this person or this group or whatever in particular, a negative impact, but all the same, an impact. And for the job that I do and the culture that I am trying to create, this is essential. So, do not stop sending me hate mail. Keep it coming. It's doing me good. However, back in... Um, Back in the days when I just started doing this job and I was a, I was, I was a brand new trainer, um, I didn't know what kind of trainer I was going to be or what trainer I was or what, how I was going to progress my career as time went by. And in the typical Globo gym setup, I was surrounded by the kind of the old school trainers and they would do anything to critique and create a, 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 an aura of self-doubt to any new trainers that came in the gym because they saw it as competition and they would do their utmost to get these trainers out as soon as possible. Now, there was, a, there was about, in this particular uh, global gym that I worked for um, years ago, there was about three of us um, all start the same month. Within two weeks, there was two of us left. Within a few months, it was just me left. And what, how that happened was, that the more senior trainers, I'm not going to call them more experienced trainers because they hadn't progressed or learned anything in their careers um, for God knows how long, but they managed to create a chain reaction of self-doubt in, in us less senior ones that we then started to second guess ourselves and because self-doubt was created and it was like a chain reaction, we started, it started to distort our image that we had of ourselves about what kind of trainer we are, is this the job for us, should we get a second, you know, a part-time job to fund our job, um, should we just pack it all together, we're not doing a good enough job in the first place. And it's a powerful thing that. So, the thing was, that was I had given these guys the power to negatively, negatively distort the image that I, had of, that I had of myself. So the biggest lesson that I learned as time went by, because I didn't give in, because I'm not the kind of person I am in the first place. Um, so what I learned was never give someone or never empower someone, some group or something to negatively distort the self-image that you have of yourself. Okay? And if you are attracting a small group of haters, whether it's at work, outside of work, etc., this it can only be a good thing because, like I said in my video about motivation, they have identified something in themselves that they don't like, that they want to take out on you because they can see you changing. Um the dynamics and create a new paradigm. All right, so they feel threatened by this. So if it's at work, 
and you're getting people that might like, talk behind your back, whatever, um, don't worry about it. It can only be a good thing because you are making them recognise you and take time out of their day to go on to speak about you. Right? You're having an impact, it's a good thing. But if it is getting to you and you don't take it well and you, and you haven't got the strength of character to embrace criticism or haters, um, then you need to delete these people out of your life. Right? Whether that is friends, um, relationships, family life, work colleagues, whatever, you have got to get away from this source. If you don't, if you don't or you won't or you say, I can't, can't means won't in the first place, but if you can't, then you need to accept and be able to foresee criticism and negativity coming on the horizon. So when it does appear, then you are emotionally ready to, to handle it. Right? If you know it's going to come, then when it does come, you're like, oh, here it comes. I knew this was coming and I've already got an answer for it. Okay, So that's my tips about how you can embrace and handle criticism. This was a great question, so thanks to uh, the guy who sent it. Um, any more questions, please feel free to drop me an email, michael.wheatman at live.co.uk. Drop me a comment below, and thanks for checking it out. Cheers.